bring Master Ray. Hey, I'm bringing to you another mail call. So let's take a look at all the stuff that I got this week. This is pretty awesome here. So as a first, we're going to go to Ida Herring here. Yep, right there. Beautiful stickers that I got from her. Best of the best coin community. Very excited to put those up on my wall over here. They'll go right over there. Just like that one's already full. So we'll get it put over there. All right, so let's get back to the coins here. We'll set those stickers up to the side there. Bring that a little closer. All right, so let's crack this envelope open. And we'll take a look at all of this inside here. So this is pretty amazing stuff. This right here, guys, is right back from Big Flip, right there. Big Flip coins. And this is all the stuff that I got. I had purchased some coins for him to open up and then also won a giveaway. So I was pretty excited about that. It was pretty loaded. So right here, we have some hand sanitizer right there. PCGS. I've got a lanyard. That's pretty awesome. And we've got a Coke holder right there. So let's get into the coins, guys. So inside here, um, we have right there, we have a 1988 mint set right there, uncirculated. And this is going to be the DNP mint marks right there for that. And then we have 1985 mint set right there. I'm going to crack this one open for fun. See how these look. I think it's tight. There we go. There we are, guys. 1985. All right, so here's the fun, fun stuff right here from the giveaways, from the extras, and all of that, which was pretty amazing. All right, so here's the scratch ticket from the giveaway. Let me get that opened up. See Ringmaster Ray right there. I have everybody who was on the ticket there. That was pretty awesome. Maybe easier said than done. Let's see if I can just get all the coins out. That may be a little better. There we go. We'll just keep the scratch to make sure there's no more coins in there. All right, so this is what was in the bag there. Let me zoom in a little bit. That way we can see them. And these are all foreign silver right there. Zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So to start off with, we have a one shilling right there. 1939. Pretty awesome stuff. These are the ones I really like. I like the Philippine coins because they were printed in the U.S. This one is actually in beautiful shape. And there we go, 1944, that'd be World War II type coin. And then next, we're gonna have, I believe this is Netherlands, yep. And let's see if we can find a date. That is one quarter G, I don't know what that is, but that is pretty neat, 1944. Next up, we have Republic of Guatemala right there 1925 that is pretty sweet that one I don't have that one's pretty neat looking little coin and then we got next right there New Zealand 1942 pretty cool looking another George and last in that little bunch there I believe this is probably Emerald Emmets, uh, Emirates, is how you pronounce it, or somewhere around that region. So I can't read that, but it's still going to be 1942 right there. Pretty cool. That's a neat one. All right, then also from some of the stuff that I had won in the other items there, we have right there 
Get that to focus. 1961 uncirculated silver dime. Pretty sweet. We have some other coins here. V nickel. Pretty good shape there. And that's going to be 11. We've got a wheat cent here. 56. Good luster on that one there. Let's see what we got here. It's going to be a 58. There we go. 51. 58. I mean, there was a lot of coins on all of these here. 1940. Ooh, look at that one, 58. Very nice. We got a Steely right there, 43. Got a 44. Bunch of other Steelies right there. 1939, so we got a pre-40. We have a War Nickel, 1945, and that one is going to be Philadelphia. Sweet. So we got a little bit of silver in that one there, 56, 53, 54. Oh, look there, Barber Dime, 1905. Right there. Very cool. Oh, and that's a San Francisco, too. Sweet. And then we have 1936 right there. Philadelphia, I believe. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Maybe I can see it a little better. There, yep. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a Philly right there. Seeing something right there. And then we have right here a quarter. That's going to be the California 2005, and that's the clad. We also have a half dollar right here. World Cup USA 94. Very sweet, and I believe that's the clad too. Yep, it's still fun to have. They do collect lots of half dollars. All right, let's see what's in this little package too. Oh, yep, yeah, this is the winnings from those half dollar hunts. Check that out. And look at the date on that. I took an early one on this one. 1918 right there, guys. 1918. And I think we do have a mint mark on that one. I think that's gonna be, we get Denver. San Francisco? I can't quite tell. I'll have to put it on the scope. We'll show that in just a moment so we can get a little closer look at it. So we'll just drop that right there. Next silver that we have, 1967, because I did find silver in those rolls that we purchased. And 1969. And last but not least, we have a pocket coin right there. 1971 pocket coin very sweet all right so that is all for big flip coins i have a couple other packages let's get to opening those let me clear yes, this off. yes that is that is a san francisco right there 1918 san francisco on that walker awesome awesome all right let's crack open the other stuff this is going to be kind of cool i'm going to zoom back out a little bit we'll drop it back down and we'll go to the next one so, on this one here, this is from John Wolf. This is one from one of my buddies in RN Metals Group. He sent me some coins because he saw my albums, and we're going to do an album fill right after this, that I needed some coins that he had. So, he shared these with me. So, we have a 1935 large scent right there. We're going to zoom in a little closer so we can take a look at that. Now, that one's definitely probably been cleaned a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, those are very old coins, so, you know, close to uh, 200 years there. And this one is definitely over 200 years. So this is a beautiful 1807 7 over 6 right there that he gave me. And there's John Wolf right there. Back up a little bit, and I'll zoom back in a little bit like that. There we go. 
So let's take a little bit closer look at this one because this one's the one that I needed for my album. So it's kind of hard because it is dark. Let me see if I can put a little more light on this and get a little better view of it. All right, I tell you what, let's go ahead and just crack it out because it's gonna go into my album anyway. There we go. Very, very nice. Much better through getting it out of the plastic there. There we are. Very cool. All right, so thank you so much, John Wolf. You are awesome. I appreciate it so much. I'm gonna get this sticker put up on my wall. We'll do that at the end also. And so then we'll get this put into the album. All right, let's move on to our next one. And this one is from one of the most beautiful sisters in all of the coin community. This is from Nick's Coins. And she sent me a little card here. She sent me a coin. She said, hey, I got a coin that I think you need for your album. And so she sent this to me. And she sent me a thank you card. And let's get the coin out here and check this out, guys. This is a 1938 Denver right there that I needed for my Walker album also. So we got that there. And let's see, let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see that D. There you go. Right there. Very, very cool. All right, so Nick had sent me a letter here, said thank you so much for gifting me the coin can, uh, can, can gaw. I got a few great coins. 1964 penny and 2009 penny, 2004 uh, P nickel, 2005 nickel, 68 D Kennedy half, and I love them all. All I can say is, wow, except for you, I am grateful. Um, thanks so much, Nick's Coins. There we go, guys. That is awesome. I'm going to definitely put that on my wall also. Amazing, amazing stuff. All right, so let me get set up, and we are going to do a little bit of uh, coin albums, which I have right there. We'll get those opened up, and we'll get them all filled up. We'll get those taken out. Very good. All right, let me bring right, you guys. right got our large scent album here. So we're going to slide this out, and we're going to take our 1807 right there. And we're gonna get that drop right into place. There we are. Thank you so much, John Wolf. That is a awesome gift that you gave me. I appreciate that so much. All right, so we're done with the large scent album. I'm gonna move over to the Walker album. We'll get a coin put into that one also. So let me grab that real quick. And this is a coin from Nick's coin that she gave me. This is gonna be the 1938 album. Or 1938D spot, I should say. This has got the album in it. Uh, yeah, this is the album for it, I should say. So right there we are, 1938 Denver. We're going to slide that open. And we're going to get this one popped in. There we go. Right there we are. 1938 Denver. All right. Thank you so much, Nick. I mean, you are awesome. And I appreciate you so much. Um, and uh, I'm glad you guys like these album fills that I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to get them filled up. And uh, really just be able to share those with you guys is a lot of fun too. All right, guys. So let's get some stickers put up on the wall. Let me get set up for that. And then we'll get uh, do our final wrap-up. Right, here we go. Here's John Wolf right here. We get that one placed up there. That is for our wall of fame. And then I'm gonna put the best of the best coin community up here. And get it to peel open. Some of these stickers are always usually a little bit challenge to get to come off of the paper. There we are. Man, look how shiny that is there. Rainbow color, beautiful sticker there. So I'm gonna drop that one right under Miss Coin Crew, right there. One of my other favorite people in all the world. Both her and Keith are just amazing. And this one also says, thank you so much. 
hugs from Ida. That is just absolutely sweet. And this one's being tough too. That's okay. We'll get it open and we'll get it peeled and stuck to the wall of fame. There we go. Got it. All right. One of my also recent additions right here, I also have Silver Keys, Mr. and Mr. Silver Keys right here. I got their sticker just recently about the same time also, but I'd already put it on the wall. All right, guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful time going through these with me. I enjoyed going through these coins, looking at them, and uh, definitely adding them to my collection. I appreciate all of you, love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful time hunting some coins. All right, well, I'll catch you on the next video. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll bring you more content. See you next time. <laughs>